Welcome back. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? Finding Dory finally making its box office debut this weekend, almost 13 years after the original Pixar film, Finding Nemo. The movie has already passed animated film pre-sale records. It's expected to bring in $120 million just in the opening weekend, putting it in the running for the highest animated feature opening of all time. Joining me right now is in the Fox Light host, Michael Tamaro. Michael, good to see you. Good to see you. A lot you. of success around this whole series. I can't wait to How see Dory. I know. Another, see another week and another sequel, but I think this one is going to, you know, succeed where other sequels have failed this summer because we're all looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, the first movie was so sweet and so charming, and it's just what we need right now. With all the news going on, I think a lot of people are going to be, you know, driven to the theaters this weekend. They've been having a rough summer in general, down 22%, but I think this weekend can be a turning point. Uh, I was just talking about that with somebody just this morning, that it's sort of escapism. escapism. With everything going on in the world, you know, just give me, give me Nemo. Give you me know. a little happy. Yeah. Yeah. We, need all, we all need a little Dory and Nemo in our life exactly. right now. Exactly. Um, we're about to get it. Now, the, the reviews are pretty good. The critics are liking it. Um, it's probably the third movie to cross that magic $100 million mark this summer. Um, so we'll see how it does. And as you mentioned, it could be the highest grossing animated film of all time to open up. Are you so. going to see it this weekend? I'm going to see it this weekend. I, I really, definitely. I'm looking forward to it as well. All right. So you sat down with Roland Emmerich and the cast of the highly anticipated Independence Day Resurgence. I did. That also comes out next week. That comes out next week. And this is the summer blockbuster we've been waiting for. This is what going to the movies in the summer is all about. I saw it last week. It is so much fun. A lot of surprises. 20 years after the original. Highly anticipated movie. A lot of people have been looking forward to this movie. Um, and, you know, Roland Emmerich promised bigger, badder, and better from the original, and he completely delivers on it. I spoke to him a little bit about, you know, he, he doesn't do anything in a small way, Roland Emmerich. He loves doing things big. And, you know, from tw uh, 2012. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, White House Down. He loves to blow things up a lot, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that him, resonates. And I, yeah, people like that sort of thing. So I asked him, in terms of scale, where does this movie fall in terms of everything he has done? And this is what he had to say. You know, and uh, we knew it had to be bigger and better, and uh, and uh, but you know, I, I also like kind of think it's good that it's different. We tried really kind of very hard to kind of give you a different story. Yeah, that's the biggest. That's the most visual effect shots I've ever done. So the biggest movie he's ever done, wow. Independence Day Resurgence, opens up next week on June 24th. Okay, Maria, now you and I love to challenge each other with movie quotes. We do. And more often than that, you stump me. You're good. No, you stump me. <laughs> I, I'm feeling a stump coming right now. Actually. So I was telling the cast a little bit about our, our challenge, and they all challenged you, Maria Bartiromo, oh to God. their favorite movie lines. Are you ready? I'm not going to get this, kid. <laughs> I need a lifeline from Dagan. All right, go ahead. Okay. Let's go. Let's start off with Jeff Goldblum, who loves Maria Bartiromo, by the way. Uh, I love him. He's fantastic. This is what he had to say. Okay, here, Maria. Maria Bartiromo. Uh, do you know this one? Without looking in your device, and how quickly can you say, here's a line. No, it's a greater honor for me. That's the line. No, it's a great ah. honor for me. No, it's a, a greater, greater honor, honor for, for me. me. I don't know. I it's Woody don't. Allen. Oh, um, with no, Kate Blanchett. Okay. Yes. Diane Keaton, Woody Allen movie. Love and Death. Oh, I know. Right. Jeff Goldblum would that go there. That was a really tough yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That was a really tough one. All right, one. Next, up, next up, I think you're going to get <laughs> this one now. Oh, come on. You really. I, right. I was not expecting this live. Liam Hemsworth, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> Swear to me. That's it? And he did Swear it in character. Well, he did it in character. Batman? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay, guys. That's why I said I, I knew your husband would definitely get I that, one. that one. He didn't tell me which Batman, oh but I feel God. like Batman says you that know, in every movie. No, I knew I knew because of the way he says Swear to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I'm glad I got one. Thank you. Do we have time for one more thing? Yeah, All right, Vivica A. Fox, take it away. I got my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> Another one who did it in character. Meet the Fockers. Uh, <laughs> yes, meet the parents. I forgot that one, but yeah, that's right. Meet the Fockers. Meet the parents. Uh, Robert <laughs> De Niro. Wait, the, the, meet, meet the, the parents. parents. Meet the parents. That was for Robert De Niro. <laughs> I love it. Michael, thank you for that. Thank you. All right, I'm coming Good out job. With some, I'm coming out with some movie lines for you the next time, okay. next week. All right, I'm ready. Uh, you better be ready. You better be ready. <laughs> Michael Tamara, everybody. Great.